Typically, zoo-goers can be seen walking around with a smile from ear to ear. But on Friday, many had a somber look after learning of the passing of the zoo's beloved bear, Bruno. He was cute and playful. Do you have a favorite, Ozzy or Bruno? I like Bruno. In his estimated 23 years on Earth, Bruno the grizzly bear touched the lives of many. Bruno was right there. He, he was, was just rolling around yeah, in the water. It was funny. He first came to Zoo Montana 15 years ago after being rescued from a home in Tennessee where he was illegally kept outside in a small dog kennel. Literally in an 8 by 8 dog kennel. I mean, just an awful situation for this animal. But lately, Bruno hadn't been feeling well. Zoo Montana had been monitoring Bruno's health that had been in decline for some time. But on Thursday, it had to make the difficult decision to euthanize him, stating his health struggles that it linked to the lack of care he received in Tennessee were too severe to manage. When an animal like that is in the care of somebody that doesn't know what they're doing, um, you end up really uh, kind of creating a really bad future for that animal. His nutrition was terrible, which led to these health issues, and primarily what he really suffered from was arthritis. Jeff Ewalt, the zoo's executive director, said it's a day the zoo knew was coming but could never truly be prepared for. I'm going to try not to get emotional. Um, but hearing the story, is just, it's amazing for a lot of us. To help staff process the loss, the zoo brought in a grief counselor, as many caregivers created a bond with the bear and might need a little help navigating their sadness. Those caregivers are keeping a close eye on Bruno's roommate, Ozzy, and will shower him with extra time and enrichment as he adjusts to the loss of his pal. We knew Ozzy would be a little brother to Bruno and, and vice versa. The day we put them together was was something we'll never forget. Uh, uh, Bruno jumped on top of Ozzy, sat at him for a couple hours, and you know essentially said, I'll deal with you, but I'm in charge. But Ozzy won't be alone for long. Next month. Good news. Two orphaned cups were recently rescued by FWP and will make their debut sometime in November after a lengthy and mandatory quarantine. While the loss of Bruno is devastating, Zoo Montana and its patrons are thankful for the years they had with him and are looking forward to welcoming the new cubs to the family. Good times are ahead. For Ozzy, for our caregivers, for our, for our guests here at the zoo, uh, we'll get past this, but uh, certainly will not forget his the legacy that Bruno left for all of us. It makes me feel good and bad bad because it's pretty sad that he died, but it makes me happy that he might be having fun in heaven. In Billings, Kelsey Boggs, MTN News.